What's up dudes and dudes to the air now my name's Seth and we are back again for another Trollbot highlight video and today is a very special surprise as you can see who is this guy isn't this isn't this my little Scythe guy oh yes it certainly is how y'all doing today folks hope you're doing fantastic and wonderful hope this video makes your day even better links will be in the description for everything to do with this costume this is uh, B underscore yellow who's made countless costumes that we have actually looked at in videos fantastic modder like seriously he's great and uh, he ended up contacting me saying, hey, dude, uh, is there, are you going to end up upgrading your Scythe Plays costume? I said, yes, I definitely want to. But personally speaking, I don't have the time right now. Like, I really, really don't. So he said, well, how's about I end up adding upon it and making it a little, a little bit more swag? And uh, I said, go for it, because that sounded awesome. And not to mention, I trust in his ability, and I'm extremely happy with uh, the result. He ended up doing a fantastic fantastic job changed the bow from just a normal scythe into a bladed bow which is a very nice touch uh also changed uh just so many little details about this character that look a lot better including the glowing eyes i think really adds a lot of personality to the costume and the character because you know for, for a logo of course i don't really want the green eyes but for a character it definitely makes it look swag doesn't it and the hood that was the biggest thing that i really wanted to touch upon was make it a little bit more 3D, so I'm glad that he was able to uh, uh, incorporate that as well. And then for the right shoulder pad, he has one of the Trove Skulls, which is great. Use tile glass for the teeth just to give that little edge in between. I didn't even know that tile glass ended up doing that, so I'll be using that from now on. And just in general, he did a great job with it. And, uh, you know, this is kind of our gift to all of you. I wanted to have this as soon as possible out. And uh, now it's out today for Hallow's Eve, for the Shadow's Eve event, right? So what the lore is of the costume is I'm calling it the Shadow Reaper. And it's just as far as like, for, for those that are watching this video after the event has passed, Superstition is cranked to the max right now. And because of it, when people respawn or die in the game, you actually see their ghost next to their grave, right? So the role play of this character right here is that he's kind of like a specter or a reaper that comes out uh, during the this specific event to kind of gather up all the lost souls and kind of bring them all back down to the underworld or something cool like that, right? Uh, but of course the pun is that lots of people just think that it's superstition, right? Because, you know, our superstition is really high and everything like that. Uh, but anyways, I gotta rush this video out to all of you today, folks, because I ran into a little bit of technical difficulties and I'm actually recording this today but either way links will be in the description so you can download this on steam or trophosaurus uh the costume it replaces is a starting costume and the uh practice bow which is the starting bow and the shadow so i know that that's going to conflict with a lot of different mods and stuff like that i will have a zip version of this mod available on trophosaurus and then if you want to know uh, how to actually rename the files and change them so that you can have this uh, costume replace a different costume, I, I have a mod video about that and everything like that. So anyways, thanks for watching, folks. Hope you enjoyed. Be sure to leave a like, sign aura, and stay epic. And thank you, Be Yellow.